Welcome. Today I will show you how to migrate discoverer reports into Blitz report. The migration process is described in one of the discoverer reports in our library. So we would go to the report section, then to the discoverer category and to the report called DIS workbook export script. And in here we have in the description, we have the different migration steps listed. The first step would be running the report to generate a list of export commands. And these export commands are used by Discover Administrator Executable to convert the workbook definitions into an XML format, into different EEX files. And then once we have created all these EEX files, we would create a zip file for all of them and we would upload that zip file to the Blitz Report application. And then we would start the Blitz Report Discover Import Concurrent program. So let's start the first step and run this report. So in Blitz report, we would navigate to this report, DIS worksheet workbook export script. And in here we have a parameter that decides which workbooks we would want to consider or which date range of workbooks we would want to consider. In your migration, you would not want to migrate everything, all the workbooks and only focus on the recently active ones. And for that reason, we have a date range parameter to only migrate the workbooks which were accessed within a certain time frame. A typical value would be something like 600 days, for example. But in this test, I would want to migrate everything because on this test system, it's very old data. And for that reason, I choose 1st of January 2004. So we would run this report here. And the report generates a list of workbooks that we want to export. In total, we have 311 workbooks and one row is one export command. And these export commands would need to be run on a Windows machine in a comment prompt window uh, to call the discoverer administrator executable. And we would first create a folder in which we want to run, want to run these commands. So let's call, create a folder called disco tests. And then navigate to that folder and also here we navigate to the folder and now we can copy and paste these commands for this test i'm not uh, running it for all the 311 now because that will take some time let me run it only for 30 records at a time so you can copy and paste these commands into the comment prompt window and then the discover administrator executable is started to generate these XML files. While the process is still running, you see it in the task manager here. And you also see if you go to that folder, you also see that uh, the EX files are created, but they still have a zero size. And then after some time, the file, once the process is completed, you see the real size of these files. And while it's running, it's still zero. So let me leave it running. And in meanwhile, show some of the analysis reports that we have in Blitz report to understand your historic discoverer usage. So the most popular one analysis report that we have is called DIS worksheet execution history. And this report shows the historic usage of your discoverer reports. Let me just run it. So it shows one row for every historic discoverer execution. So it has a column for the workbooks and for the worksheets and the user who executed those. And then it also shows more detailed data, for example, how long the, the report took, how many rows were returned, and especially also which folders and which data was accessed. So further to the right, you have here columns for the folders, folder identifiers, or for the tables. And then you can see, for example, which examples could we look at this one here? So here we have two different folders accessed. One is called job applications and one is the vacancies. And uh, that was the data that this workbook used because the migration to Blitz report works in a way that it automatically combines similar workbooks and worksheets into just single report so that you have less maintenance in Blitz report. And you have additional sheets here in the report as well. So the last sheet is 
showing all your active users and the number of workbook execution counts in the time frame that you look at. And then you have one sheet showing the most popular workbooks and the worksheets. So here the most popular one was the training success analysis and these are the different sheets and their execution count. And the way in which the migration works is by combining different workbooks and worksheets into single blitz reports if they use the same underlying data or underlying folders and that's shown on this sheet. So let me reduce the size a little bit. So to give an example, in the top row here, there was one folder that is the uh, scheduled training events. And that folder was ac accessed by five different workbooks and worksheet combinations. So after the Blitz report migration or migration to Blitz report, we would only have one single Blitz report created and five different layout templates. So that's how the migration works. So let's have a look at the progress meanwhile of our export. So you see all these files, they have a non-zero size meanwhile. That means the process is completed. We can also validate that if we try to delete the log files because we not, don't need them anyway. And if we can delete all of them like this, that means all the processes are completed meanwhile. Because if the, the process would still be active, we would see an error message saying, oh, you cannot delete this file because it's still in use. Okay, so we have all those 30 files, but for this test, I wanted to run the export for all the 311 workbooks and not just for these 30. And for that reason, I've prepared the export earlier already for all those 311, which is in this folder here, 311 workbooks. And we would now create a zip file for all of them. And we call it workbooks. And that zip file is now imported into Blitz Reports. So you would go to the setup screen, the tools, import, and then choose the XML upload. And then you can select the file that we have created. Okay, it's uploaded. And now it's loaded into staging tables. And this step might take a few moments, especially if you have thousands of workbooks, then it might take a few minutes. But now we have only 311, so it should not take that long. Let's see. Okay, we have the message 311 workbooks successfully uploaded. And that means we are ready to run the Discover import process. And that is a concurrent program called Blitz Report Discover Import. And also here we have a date range parameter that would be 1st of Gen 04. And we also have a parameter to prefix the created report with a certain name prefix. So let's say ADS10. And that is important so that you can easily distinguish your uh, imported reports from our standard seeded reports, for example, that come out of the box with Blitz report. Okay, so now the process is running and while this is running, let me show you some of the validation reports. So we have a report that shows the progress of the import that is called DRS workbook import validation. So that is to reconcile the workbooks and worksheets that you would like to import with the results of the created Blitz reports. So the output looks like this. You have one row for every workbook and worksheet that uh, were selected for the migration. And then you also have the statistics of the execution count. So for example, this one, the average sale price history, sheet number one was executed 16 times. And the last active time was on the 7th of December, 2005, because this is a very old test system. And then further to the right, we have columns for the progress of the migration. The first column here called EEX uploaded. So that shows either blank or yes. That means if in this case we have only yes, that means we have all the workbook EEX files successfully uploaded. So they were all included in a zip file. If you had anything missing there, you would see blanks here. And then the first processing step is called flattening and the count of uh, processed records is shown here. So after that is completed, we should see all these blank column, uh, blank records being populated with um, the numbers of the count. So let's run it again to see the progress.
so we have okay so we have all of these populated now and we also have report names already so further to the right we have the blitz report names in column m and then in column n we have the template names created because one workbook worksheet combination is converted as one template in blitz report but they might end up on the same report if they use the same underlying objects or folders so that's how the migration works and that means because we have now these report names created that means we should see them in blitz report already to see all these reports they are created in this cover category but this is category count is only refreshed at the moment when you open the form so let me just close it and open it again and then we should see these reports now in a category called discoverer so you see here we have these imported reports and because it's still running it was showing 66 but the list of value has 74 meanwhile because it's currently still running so we can see if we can run this report or one of the reports and look at the results okay so this is how the migration works and let's see if we have more examples because the blitz report migration also considers more advanced um, worksheet layouts for example if there is a cross tab layout in discoverer then it will be migrated as a pivot in blitz report so let's run this one as an example and this is also uh, uh, interesting to see so basically here we have one report called salary employee current so that is the folder and then we have four different templates that means we had in discoverer we had four different workbook worksheet combinations and one of the worksheets was this one hr salary by year and now it's running and this one apparently had a cross tab layout and this cross tab layout is then converted as a pivot in Excel. So on the first sheet you have the detailed data, second sheet is the pivoting of the data. And once the process is completed, we have a report showing us the validation of the imported uh, SQL queries. And it is called Blitz Report SQL Validation. We can run it for this cover category. And this is more a technical validation to check if all the migrated SQL queries are syntactically correct. And here we already see some error messages. So let's see, we have two tabs. One is the error tab. We have 26 different reports which have uh, syntax problems. But this is expected on our test system because this is test data is not very consistent. But in your migration, you should see no errors on in this validation. And the valid ones are on the second sheet. So fortunately here we have many more valid ones, 242 valid reports and only about 26 which have uh, problems. Yeah, let's run one more test to see what, some more examples. So now, we, meanwhile, we have 323 different records migrated. And what else can we run? Contract savings, for example. And we can also look at the concurrent request. Now let's first wait for this to complete. Oh, this is apparently a bigger file because it takes so long. Let's see. Okay, also here we have uh, the data pivoted. So it was a cross tab layout again. And on the first sheet, we have the detailed data. Let's see how many records. 78,000 records so that's why it took so long yeah that's it that is very high level the process of migrating discover reports into blitz report if you would like to see more about the process or about blitz report in general please reach out to us and we can organize a call